So you're buying a private jet and your question is, how important are the avionics? And this is what we're going to cover in today's video. We're going to talk about avionics and the importance in particular when you're buying new or you're buying a pre-owned aircraft, how this is important. And it's not just the avionics in the cockpit, it's also the technology in the cabin at the back. My name is Fabrizio Poli. Welcome to BizJet TV. If you've never been on this channel before, it's all about business aviation and lots more um, to do about using aircraft for business um, space. We talk about space travel and that and how that's going to be useful for business as well. So lots of content here, over 420 videos. So if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe, have a look around, comment below. But let's get into today's uh, meeting. And of course, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, let's get into today's uh, video all about avionics. Now, when you're doing a pre-buy inspection, which is something I always recommend someone does before they buy an aircraft, in particular on a new one, uh, you, there are going to be two considerations when you're looking at the avionics. Either something's going to have to be changed or something's going to have to be upgraded, in particular with the older aircraft. And there's a lot you can do in changing the avionics up front. Now, what you have to check is you have to check to see if, the, if there is an STC, which stands for Supplemental Type Certificate. Um, and this is issued uh, for various aircraft for different uh, work on aircraft. So if you want to install a particular type of avionics on your aircraft, you can't just go and put it in. Uh, there, ne there needs to be a certified uh, STC for that. So that's something you need to look into. But, you know, there are mainly four uh, companies which do avionics. We've got Garmin, Collins, Honeywell and Universal Avionics. Uh, Garmin tends to be the, 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 the more user friendly one, which is used on a lot of the single pilot aircraft such as the TBM 940, also the Embraer Phenom 100 and 300 and the Honda Jet uh, use Garmin and Garmin tends to be uh, a lot more user friendly, particularly for somebody that's not a professional pilot. It's easier to get your head around, but you know, uh, that doesn't mean that the other manufacturers are bad. It's just, in my experience, looking at it and that and, and having used, you know, th these avionics myself, uh, Garmin tends to be the, the, the most user friendly. Um, now, uh, obviously, when we're looking at aircraft um, up front, uh, there are things which the pilots really do like. They like the moving map. The moving map basically is a map on a screen which basically tells you where the aircraft is. Um, and that's really, really useful. Um, also, you've got, you know, terrain on the screen as well. Um, so it does improve situation and awareness, which is really, really important. The other thing that the pilots like to have also is a head-up display where you, basically the instruments and the, the, the important data is projected on the windscreen. Uh, and sometimes you can even project the runway on the windscreen, even if it's completely white and cloudy outside, which allows you to do low visibility landings and takeoffs, which is really, really useful as well and improves flight safety. So these are the things you need to look for as far as up front. And of course, if you're buying an old aircraft, you know, it has to be ADSB compliant, uh, depending, you know, if you're buying also an aircraft that's just going to be operating in the United States or if you're going across the ocean, you're going to want to have things like, you know, uh, features where you, you can stream flight planning and in-flight services and that, uh, which are going to be very, very useful. Um, so that's another thing that needs to be looked into. And then, of course, we've got the cabin in the back for the passengers. Um, and again, the, the, these these are things which can be upgraded. Um, KA band, Wi-Fi. Soon you'll be able to get the Wi-Fi with Elon Musk's satellites on, on an airplane as well, which is going to improve. Um, so you want to look at the cabin and the technology in the cabin as well. Um, what is the value of that technology? Um, what can be upgraded? How much is that going to cost? Um, these are all things that need to be looked at as well, which can increase or decrease the value of your aircraft. So avionics, you know, can even cost up to, you know, 1.5 to $2 million. Same with the upgrades in the back. Um, that can swing the, 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 the price of the airplane by a few million dollars. Um, so, you know, when you're looking at pretty pictures online, um, and you're seeing the, the price, this is where it's important to have a professional to guide you through and you get a spec sheet of an aircraft and there's lots of words on there that someone that's not an aviation person won't understand. Um, and that's where, you know, someone like myself can come in and, and, and decipher what that actually means in layman's terms. But certainly uh, avionics is something that has really, really progressed over the years since I started flying back in 1986, where you had to really interpret the instruments to un a bit like when you're reading a sheet of music, um, you you, you, read this, you have to translate what's on the sheet of music into what keys to press on the piano. Um, well, now, you know, everything is displayed um, and it's making life easier. It's easier for the pilot to interpret. It's improving situation and awareness, uh, which is allowing the pilot to know where, where he or she is um, and easier to interpret. Um, Head-up display is becoming something 
uh, very um, on many aircraft now. And then the other thing which Garmin have just introduced is the Autoland. And I have done a video about this uh, before. You can click on the link above. And this is interesting where there's a button on the aircraft where suddenly the pilot passes out, particularly on a single pilot operations. Passenger can press the button and the airplane will basically land at the nearest suitable airport on its own. It will talk to air traffic control. It will do everything it needs to you know, bring the landing gear down, the flaps, the thrust levers and everything. And the airplane will land on its own. This has been installed currently on the TBM 940, which is a turboprop, and also on the Cirrus Vision Jet. And I can see this certainly being rolled out into other single pilot aircraft um, and probably other uh, avionic manufacturers will start to will probably are already looking into this and we probably will even be see this um, you do you do have auto land on the airliners uh, Boeing have it Airbus have it um, and I remember the first time when I allowed the 737 to land itself it was quite impressive to see this thing come in and land the only thing I needed to do was kick in with the thrust reversers um, but the rest the, the airplane did, did everything on its own um, so, so it's interesting that this feature is there now and you know this technology the AI technology is getting better and better and this is just improving flight safety which is which is good but I would say you know avionics is a big play in when you're buying a, an airplane uh, look at the avionics and having modern avionics suite up front or having the possibility on the type of aircraft that you're buying if there is an STC a supplemental type certificate to be able to upgrade the avionics and put modern avionics in an older airplane uh, like you know uh, Garmin have done with the Citation XLS, allowing you to install a Garmin 5000 avionics suite into a, an older Citation XLS. And you can check the video I did on that. And that's a very interesting upgrade. Uh, so these are things to consider when you're buying an older aircraft. Buy an older aircraft, upgrade the, the avionics and upgrade the cabin. Um, that can be good value for money for you instead of going out and buying something completely brand new. So um, if you want to have a chat with me and get specific about your aircraft needs, Reach out to me on an email or schedule in for a call. Uh, let's get specific, uh, which is really, really important. You know, we can only give out general information here on BizJet TV. If you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and check this video out about the Citation XLS upgrade with the Garmin 5000 Avionics. Really, really interesting one. And that's all from Blitzer Poly on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.